Okay guys, you know I have been looking so hard to find jeans and shorts to fit me. It has been so difficult here in Colombia, but I finally found a store with a very nice lady, Laura, and she helped me and they have so many jeans and shorts to fit me. I'm so excited. It was a little bit difficult to find, but a nice cab driver helped me. I did this excursion all by myself, so it's time to get my goods and go back to the apartment. I'm excited. So it's not in a typical shopping mall. This is kind of like a little strip mall. And then you, you go out here and there's gonna be a main road where I will need to grab a cab. It's time to go back all the way across town. We're about 40 minutes from the apartment. It's Friday afternoon, so I gotta meet the traffic. Just had to say bye to the nice security guard that helped me. So there you go, guys. This is the little off the beaten path place where a nice lady in one of the other malls told me I would be able to find jeans to fit me. She was right. I'm good to go. Sitting here waiting on my Uber. Sometimes it's hard to get a taxi when you go far away from the apartment. There's some parts of Medellin that are restricted on license plate numbers. The first three taxis I pulled over had the wrong license plate number to go to Medellin today. I'm actually in the suburbs, kind of up outside of Invigado. So I finally gave up, ordered an Uber. One's on the way, but I'm having to wait. But there's some good people watching here. Good morning, guys. Couple of things. First, obviously, I cut my hair. We're getting ready to leave Medellin, so I want to go ahead and get all that old color and highlighting cut out of it. So now it's about 95% my natural color with all my pretty new gray hair shining through. I will let it grow a little longer than this. I don't like it quite this short, but that's part of my going gray plan, so we got short hair. Second, today is a happy and sad day. Today is my last session with Santiago doing physical therapy here at the apartment. We have two more sessions at the hospital, but this will be the last time we see Santiago. And that's good because that means we're moving along and progress is good and it's time to get back in the van. But Santiago's been awesome and you guys know I'm super emotional. I'm gonna miss this guy. But here goes, last PT session with Santiago. Thanks bro, appreciate it man. That's necessary. Pastor, pastor. All right, guys. I'm headed. All right, guys. I'm headed to my last yoga class here in Medellin. As you guys know by now, our time is definitely winding down, and so I'm headed up here, gonna get my yoga on one last time. So Yami's not here today. I'm the owner of the studio, my friend who introduced me to Carlos, we have a substitute today. What is your name? My name's Elo. Elo. <laughs> 
si sí, son un poquito como yo me he escuchado unos sueños agarrados así clac, 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 clac. y con cuello suelto hombros neutros deslizo para buscar esa sensación de alargamiento mi hombro derecho está rotando hacia atrás como si quisiera tener un collar ahí expuesto Just open your collarbone a little bit wider. Draw the shoulders down. Exhale. Al exhalar, me devuelvo. Excelente. Vamos a gestionar esas. I do believe that butterflies speak. Yo creo que las mariposas tienen un dolor. A ver. Entonces, ¿qué suena? <laughs> La <risa> Hay unas mariposas. Otra vez, asegúrense que sus caderas están mirando al frente. Square your hips forward, make sure your set bones are equal. Vamos a inhalar acá. Y al exhalar, simplemente entrelazar esos dedos. Imagina que alguien está jalando al frente. No tiene que ser un movimiento muy grande. Ojo con esa tensión de hombros. Relajamos todo. Y ahora voy a buscar mirar a mis dedos de pie. Si están caídos hacia un lado, los llevo otra vez. Activos. Los cinco mirando hacia mí. Inhalo, me devuelvo. Microflexión de rodilla y acerco el talón. Excelente. Hágalo por detrás de mi busto. La idea acá es que pueden acomodar esa pierna un poquito más para no sentir demasiada la tensión. Alargo el pecho, inhalo. Exhalo para acercar ese músculo. Lo suelto, todo bien. Cuando mis caderas hacia atrás, inhalo a veces nada más de al piso. Busco tener el soporte de mis piernas en mi pecho. Me dejo caer otra vez con un peso. Deslizando las manos. Giro ese talón derecho hacia su compañero. Opción de girar también la pantorrilla para tener mejor equilibrio. Inhalo para elevar ese brazo derecho. Miro hacia arriba si puedo. Empujo la tierra para no tener un sobrepeso en mi muñeca. Keep on pressing the ground away with your hands. Exhala para devolverme cuatro apoyos. Opción de tomar postura del niño acá. Más hacia mi derecha. Y cada exhalación manda la cadera más hacia abajo. Poco a poco estoy intentando cerrar ese espacio. Inhalamos mesa y otra. Exhalamos. Enganchamos los deditos de pie separando ligeramente las rodillas. Y hacia atrás, hacia arriba. La meta de esa postura nunca es talones al piso. Es columna estirada. Entonces voy a llevar ese pecho hacia mis muslos. Empujando desde las manos. Y como es el primero de mi práctica, voy a caminarlo. Una pierna se dobla, otra se dobla. Alternando aquí. Excelente. Something in Medellín that I've seen that I've yet to tell you about. See that guy running past us? We're on our way back from the hospital in the cab, and that guy ran down and picked up a stick and hit the guy down there in the red shirt about five times with it. There was an argument and there was a discussion. And these are typically like the homeless people down there. And it's violence against one another down there. And in this area between the hospital and city centro here, we've seen a couple acts of violence in this area and so if you're in town this might be an area you want to steer clear of and you can see some of the guys here coming into picture 
And so the guy up there on the corner is the guy that was struck about five times and you could see him kind of looking at his hand. He's okay. But I just kind of wanted to let you know that we do see that type of stuff here. I didn't want to give a false impression that that stuff does not exist here like it does any big city in the world. But another thing that we see all too often as we're riding to and from the hospital or in cabs to various parts of the city or motorcycle accidents. Oh, he's okay. Lucky, he's okay. Good morning, guys. Today is a very big day. It is my very last physical therapy session, which is awesome, but it is also sad because it is the very last time we will see Stephanie here in Medellin. But we are hoping she will come visit us somewhere. So y'all tell her she's got to come visit us. See? But we're going to go do our last physical therapy session. Then we have to go down to Centro to pick up our new t-shirts. Let's get at it. How was it? Um, I was sore. It was okay. It was okay. No, not yet. How much pain did you have last time? Uh, the Melissa is trying to kill me on my last day. And one was pretty bad, I think. Hmm. We also saw the homeless people beat each other up. Oh yeah, we saw a fight. Oh, <laughs> wow, that's a good one of those. All right, everybody. This is Melissa. She has been my physical therapist here at the hospital, and she is very, very mean. <laughs> but she is very, very good, and she has helped me a whole bunch. So thank you very much. She's been awesome, absolutely amazing. We really appreciate it. Okay guys, final time leaving this darn hospital. And I'm still crying from leaving Stephanie, so don't mind my crackly voice. But this is actually a celebration time. I am done with the official physical therapy. Melissa took this last session and taught me exercises to keep doing at home that I am able to do in the van. So, here we go guys, we're walking out for the last time. There we go. <laughs>
There it is. Woohoo! Hola, Hola. Buenos días. Buenos días. All right guys, so we went by the t-shirt shop. The girl that was helping us went out, ended up going out sick. So we had to help them figure out the last few shirts to do. And they told us 20 or 30 minutes. So we walked down to get a little snack while we wait. And when you're deep in the city, you have to make do with whatever wildlife you can find. We just spotted a cute little mouse. It's not a monkey, it's not a cool bird, but it's a critter, so we liked it. All right, I made it back to the apartment. Whether or not Kurt was as excited as I was or not, I showed him my new jeans. You guys will see them whenever I wear them. But our t-shirts and hats are ready. So Kurt is trying to order us an Uber to see if we can get down to the store and get them picked up before they close. Let's see what happens. We still owe him some money. ¿Cómo te llamas? Yuli. Yuli. Con mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. Cara. Sí, ya se va. All right, guys. Here's one of our shirts. Are you there? Woohoo! Hold up one of mine with the cute art on it. Over here on this pile. And then you can put on a hat and then I'll stop video. All nice. right, guys. We got one for snow. Look at there. <laughs> Woohoo. All right. And then we got a hat. Let's so see it. No, oh, Kurt got a hat too. Show him your hat. There it is. All right, guys, it's been a busy few days. Lots of shopping. We're pretty excited about our new two shirts. The next time we see you, we'll be moving back into the van. Time to hit the road. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers guys!